Now, networks can also contain other networks. For example, you probably have a school not too far from where you live, and that school has its own network. But within that school are a bunch of classrooms. And it's very possible that inside each of those classrooms, all the hosts in each classroom are grouped up into their own network. Now, these networks within other networks are sometimes referred to as subnetworks or subnets, and this is a very common occurrence on the internet. In fact, that illustration we just did with the Acme Corporation, with the three offices and the three different teams in each of these offices, well, the office location is a subnet of the Acme Corporation IP space. And the specific teams are a subnet of the New York IP space. So you can have networks within networks within networks. All of these networks then connect to each other. For example, you might be sitting at your house and might want to do some sort of working from home and be able to access the office networks. Or possibly you're studying from a coffee shop and you might want to access school resources. Well, instead of having each of these networks connect directly to each other in every possible combination, instead, all of those networks are connected to a central resource, namely the internet.